Welcome to Comedy Global. The open battle between the left government and Governor Arif Mohammad Khan have reached a turning point as Chief Minister lashed out at the Governor on Friday. The Chief Minister responded in a harsh language amid the tension continues regarding the Governor's stance in bills passed by the Assembly. CM alleged that the Governor is saying nonsense and told him to self-evaluate himself. The state is waiting for the Governor's response to these remarks. Although CM has made indirect criticism against the governor, such a harsh criticism was raised for the first time. The chief minister seemed to say enough is enough. No man can utter a far greater nonsense, the chief minister said, responding to the governor's remark that it was unbelievable that the chancellor was asked to appoint a relative of a chief minister's personal staff without the CM's knowledge. The governor was referring to the appointment of the wife of K.K. Ragesh, the chief minister's personal secretary at Kannur University. This triggered the CM. Even earlier when CPM leaders criticized governor's actions, CM and the ministers reacted cautiously. The CM was not just livid but was also highly dismissive of Khan. Your statements should befit the position you hold, he said. This relative of the CM's personal staff is an individual. This individual, like others, has freedom and rights. If this individual feels she is qualified for a job, she is well within her right to apply for the post. Will anyone in their right senses think that she, being a relative of the CM's personal staff, should secure the CM's permission? Can anyone who has any idea how the country works think like this? See the kind of nonsense he spews out, Vijayan said. Pinarai Vijayan also wanted to know what made the governor say that the CPM believed in physical force and threats. Did he have any experience, he asked. He asked whether all the political achievements made by the CPM in the country were achieved using force and threats. Is this a platform from where anything could be said? Has he thought of the governor's post in such a way, Binrai Vijayan asked. It is indicated that, even at the CPM leadership level, there is a feeling that there is no need to give in to the situation where the governor continues to provoke despite the government not responding to the provocations. This was discussed in CPM Secretariat meeting held on Friday and the stance of the party was announced through Chief Minister's remarks. The stance of governor now has become crucial. He has not yet signed the bills. The governor responded that he is not a rubber stamp to sign bills blindly. The political observers consider CM's response as an apt blow. This counter-attack has been done to prevent governor from creating further political drama. However, Kerala governor Arif Mohammad Khan has replied to the harsh criticisms of the CM Pinarayi Vijayan by saying that he is happy that the CM has come out in the open and accused the government of trying to undermine the position of the governor. Arif Mohammad Khan accused that the CM is not doing his constitutional duties and said that his letters and phone calls to the chief minister is going unanswered. The governor complained that the CM is not intimating him about the government decision even after requesting to do so. The governor asked why the CM is afraid of him and added that he must stop the war from behind. Governor Arif Mohammad Khan reminded that the police did not register a case in the murder attempt that took place against him in Kannur three years ago. He also alleged a conspiracy behind the attempt and said that he knows the people behind it. The governor asked who is responsible for the home ministry in a direct attack against the CM who is also handling the home portfolio. He said that the government is trying to undermine the position of the governor. Additionally, he warned that those without the requisite qualifications will not be allowed to continue in universities. The governor promised to give more evidences against the government when he returns to the state on Sunday. He said he will publicize the letter from the CM promising him that there would not be any political interference in any appointments including that of the universities. He reminded that the universities belong to the people and not to those who are in power for a limited time. This is Anjana signing off. Do like and share this video. For further updates, subscribe to Comedy Global.